are you looking for an all-in-one replacement of Jira, Slack and Notion? Let's discover Hyuli, a free open source everything app which purpose is to centralize all your team and project management needs in one place. The main benefit is to have everything seamlessly interconnected for a better productivity. It includes project management, meetings and online collaboration, seamless integration with GitHub, and Notion-like document builder. To start using Hyuli, you can use their cloud version for free with an unlimited number of users and 10 GB of storage and video audio traffic. To self-deploy it, you can follow the installation instructions in their GitHub repository. Or you can use a platform like ours, Elestio, to deploy it seamlessly on your server or the cloud provider of your choice. We handle the installation, backups, updates and ongoing maintenance for you. To start using Hyuli on our platform, head to ls.io and click on login. Then deploy my first service, search for Hyuli and select. Choose between the different cloud providers, regions and service plans based on your need. Once ready, hit the next button. From this screen, you can adjust more advanced settings. Choose between different levels of support. The first one is included by default and then create service. Once the installation is finished, you will receive this email telling you that your instance is ready. Follow the click here to get the password link. You arrive on LSTO administration dashboard for your Hyuli instance. Copy the password here into your clipboard and then follow the admin UI link. You arrive on the login screen of your Hyuli instance. As we need to login with email password on the self hosted version, click on login with password here and then type your email and paste the password from your clipboard and then login. Because this is the first time we arrive, first we need to create a workspace. Let's do it. Let's name it LSTO team and create workspace. All right, we arrive on our workspace. By default, it opens the tracker, which is the project management tool. We will see it later together. Of course, on the top right, you can switch to dark or light mode. Me, I'm a light mode user, so I will stick to it, sorry. And because it is an everything app with many tools that you can see on the left, you can start with whatever makes more sense for you because this platform makes more sense if you are not alone on it. Let's start by inviting people. If you click on the bottom left on your account, go to settings. From there, you can manage many things. But what interests us here is invite to workspace and to generate an invite link. You simply copy it and send it to the users you want them to join you. By the way, I will quickly edit my profile it either automatically generated for you or you can use Gravatar, so it should have my picture. Perfect. And now we have invited our team members, but we can also add people not from the team or other employees that don't necessarily will appear on Huli. For that, you have employee and you can add them manually. Click here. Let's say our dear John Doe. We won't add an email and create. Well, we will add an email because we can't. And create. Like all the different entities inside Huli, you can click on it to see the details. Then if you go to person, you have the same interface, but for people not from your company. Or company, if you want to create a separate one or yours. Let's say company XYZ the best company ever you can add attachments create okay again you can open it and the great thing you have when you have a platform like this that have many interconnected tools is that every feature is interconnected if you want you can add a member so you can add the different people from the contacts let's say you want to add john doe you have an audit trail of what happened on that when it was modified or what is done here. You can even go further away by clicking here on the top right and create a related issue. Let's say call them for a collaboration call. Please do it quickly. 
And here it is the project management tool with issues that is in the tracker we saw before quickly. And you can link any entity from Huli. Here you can choose where it will appear. Let's say the backlog. It's high priority. I will assign myself to do it. You can add the labels, but we didn't configure any yet. Everything is a professional grade project management tool. Let's create our issue and let's move to the tracker tool. Here it is. And you can see we have our task created in the backlog. We are in the default project, but you can organize it the way you want. So first we are in a workspace, but inside the project management tool for this workspace, we can create sub projects. Let's say if you separate it by team, marketing team, you can create a marketing project, multiple options, you create them, sales, or it can be also project based whatever works best for your organization. Let's stick to default and let's add other issues. Here, new issue. Let's do X. And then let's do Y. Again, you can assign it to anyone. And let's do Z. OK, everything appear in our backlog because I assigned them to the backlog state. But we can switch to the Kanban view, the board one. You can drag and drop them to the next state, but I think we need to add an option. Show empty groups. And now we can say, OK, I'm currently doing the call. Let's do why I already did it. So it's done. You can manage your projects conveniently. As it's pretty standard, I won't spend too much time on the project management feature as itself. Just know from the marketing website that an exciting thing is that you can sync with GitHub. So the issues you have there will appear inside your Huli instance. And if you move them in uh, Huli or in GitHub, it will be synchronized automatically. All right, one other lovely feature you have is the office. If you go to the office section, by default, we are in the main. Oh, by the way, before I forgot, here on the top, you have a tab view. When I switch, I'm changing the content of the tab, but I can keep the other open. By the way, it opened my inbox. If I go back to tracker, I can have one tab open on it and another one in office, making it even easier for you to navigate. OK, back to the office, we have myself, John Doe and other slots for other team members. You can scroll, you see them. And on the right, you will have a virtual meeting room and you simply click on it and are able to start meeting very easily. Click on start meeting, allow while visiting the site. OK, and I am in the meeting. As I'm alone, it's better that I show you the preview on Huli website so you can have a good impression of it. But it has everything you need a chat and a text transcription of what is being said, but also some attachments and activity. The things you always get in any entity of Yuri. If your team is bigger or smaller, you can edit your office to perfectly fit your needs. This is for the direct collaboration, but you also have the chat feature. And what is great is that it is a web version of Slack inside your browser with the huge benefit of it connected to the other things of your huge instance, the people, but also the issues. So it automatically creates a channel per issue. So you can say, I have a problem with it and you won't miss the notification from another tool. It's directly integrated. You also have HR features for recruitment. Here, if you want to hire someone, you go into vacancies create a new offer. Let's say we want to hire a new developer. It's very imprecise, but from there you can handle the whole process with the applications, doing reviews and screening until you find the perfect employee. And once you do it, you have another HR feature to manage your employees. Let's say I click on a slot. I will create a vacation. Or let's say I'm working remotely. I want the team to know it. I'll be remote. You can add attachment if it's a paid leave or if you are sick. So you can give more details and it's stored inside your Huli instance. 
let's create it and the HR from the team will have a full overview of what is going on. There are many other features, for example, documents. We will need to create a team space. Let's name it knowledge base. We can adjust the icon description. Let's keep it simple. And inside it, we can create our document, which is like a notion like interface. Let's say onboarding guide. And inside you can type, hello, this is the onboarding guide. And with slash, you must be familiar with it. You can add different type of things. Let's say you want to add an image. I will add LSTO logo. And this is in my document, perfect. As we are talking about the shortcuts with slash, you also have in the search bar on the top right, different comments you can run to quickly navigate and perform actions on Huey. Another way to share documents is the drive, where you can, like a drive, create folders and upload files. As always, for many things I couldn't cover in this video, I highly recommend you to look at the documentation. It contains useful information you could use to know if this software contains everything you need and to know if it's what you're looking for. Thank you for watching, we hope you enjoyed discovering Huli with us. Please hit the like button to help our channel be more visible to other open source lovers. Don't forget to subscribe to not miss our next platform overviews. If you want to continue your open source journey, watch this video, available here.